I tried it with the mandolin to like get those initial circles. Yeah. It was too unwieldy. Could be so complex. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Today's big little recipe is all about butternut squash, but we don't need an oven or a stove because we're gonna be eating it raw. But before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe this video. This way we can cook more together or not cook more together. We're making a simple salad today. The main ingredient is butternut squash. The only other ingredients you'll need are some sort of hot, fresh chili. You could use serrano, fresno, jalapeno, whatever you can get your hands on and you like the taste of. Medjool dates, these are dry, they're super plump, they're really sweet with almost like a maple syrup flavor, really delicious. Feta cheese, which is nice and salty and creamy, and whatever type of vinegar you have in your cabinet. I'm using rice here because I like the mildness of it. Apple cider would be really nice in the fall, red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, really whatever vinegar you'd like the taste of. And, and also... honorary big little ingredient, olive oil. So the first thing we are gonna do is chop up our chili and get it soaking with the vinegar. I'm using a mandolin here to chop my chili. This is just a really easy way to get thin, even slices. The reason that we're soaking the chili slices in the vinegar is to infuse that flavor from the fresh chili. This way, the whole dressing has this kind of zing to it that I really like. If you aren't a fan of spice, you can skip the soaking step. That'll make the whole dish a little less spicy. If you really aren't a fan of spice, you could take out the pith and the seeds. So I'm just gonna pour in the vinegar on top of the chilies. So now the vinegar is gonna be getting that uh, kicky chili flavor and the chilies are gonna be absorbing the vinegar almost like a quick pickle. So they're gonna be doing all their work there. In the meantime, I'm gonna get working on our squash. So what we're gonna be doing here is peeling it and then julienning it. Truly one of the most annoying vegetables in the world yeah. to peel is this squash. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if when you are working with raw butternut squash, when you roast it or whatever you do with it, if you get that like residue on your hands and it kind of like feels like honey or something. Justin acts like he doesn't know what I'm talking about, but I know you do. It's like a, it's like a different, it's not just like the, okay. Someone's gonna know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a thing, I remember this. Okay, so our butternut squash is peeled and now we're gonna julienne it. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna cut off this end, start at the top where there aren't seeds, and then do as thin as possible slices. If some of them are a little bit e uneven, that's okay, it's just a salad. So I've cut the top of the squash into a bunch of rounds. Now that I've reached the part with the seeds, I am going to have it, grab a spoon, Scoop those out. Now that the seeds are out, I am just going to thinly slice this. You wanna try one? How good is that? It's good, right? So now we have everything set up in stacks. Now this is the easy part. We're just gonna run our knife down the stack create cute little matchsticks, and then throw them in our mixing bowl. We julienned our whole butternut squash. Took a minute, totally worth it. So you wanna come see? We have these nice matchsticks. Some of them are a little thinner than others. That's okay, it totally doesn't matter. Um, this point, very important step, we are going to salt the squash. So I'm just gonna eyeball a couple pinches. This is gonna do is this is gonna slightly wilt it. So it's just gonna season it throughout and just kind of um, break down the texture a bit. So it has kind of like a slaw vibe or like a carrot salad vibe or something like that. We have our chilies, our vinegar, our feta, 
all the salsy, salsy, salty, spicy, and acidic. So the dates are a great pop of sweetness. It's really nice here. And they also have this chewy texture. That's a really lovely contrast to the crunchy squash. So I'm pulling the dates apart, taking out their pit. And now we are gonna finally dice them and add them to our salad. If you don't like dates or can't find them, truly any dried fruit would be great here. You just want something that is chewy and sweet and gonna add that contrast to the salad. Great, so I have these dates all chopped up. I'm just gonna break them apart with my fingers a bit so it's not one giant date clump. I'm gonna grab a couple spoons and I'm just gonna give this a quick toss. Woo, you smell that? You smell that? The chili vinegar. The chili vinegar? Good morning. Good morning. Do you want some salad? Okay. So at this point, I am going to take the feta and just crumble that in by hand. So I like buying feta in blocks versus pre-crumbled because it usually has a lot more flavor. It's not dried out. So I can just, I, you can also control the sizes of the pieces, which is nice. If you want lots of tiny pieces, you can do that. If you want big hunks, you can do that. And then I am just going to drizzle in some olive oil to sight. Okay, and now I'm just gonna toss this all together. So I'm gonna grab a fork and give this a taste. Okay. What do you think? It's good. I don't think it needs more salt. I don't think it needs more vinegar. No, I don't even think it needs more oil. I think we nailed it on the first time for once. This is our raw butternut salad with dates, feta, and chilies. For the full recipe, head to food52.com and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> Thanks for taking the camera off me.